everyone. Today is Saturday, January 29th, 2022. I am Cool Cat Terry, and today we are going to discuss Grand Theft Auto being responsible for criminal recruitment on Just a Glimpse. Just a Glimpse, not your average podcast. Are you ready to get angry? Covering movies, gaming, Politics. Just the glimpse. Alright everyone, it's not really a surprise when it comes to video games becoming topics at least three times a year when it comes to being too violent or being too impressionable on children. In the past, I normally would go against any article that would try to say that games are responsible for people being violent or being involved in school shootings or in car chases and things of the sort. Because when it comes down to that, it all comes down to accountability. Each person knows right from wrong and they know, you know, that when it comes to video games, it is just fantasy and you shouldn't act these sort of things out in real life. Well, now the topic has changed. We're not going to be discussing something of that nature. We're actually going to be discussing how the Mexican drug cartels are using video games to recruit people to be drug runners. And this includes adults as well as children. I'm going to pull up an article that covers the story. It was reported by Forbes and a whole bunch of other gaming journalists have spun off from it. But I'm going to get the original article for you all today. Okay, so Forbes made this wonderful article where they covered how... Cartel is, you know, using GTA Online and other games to recruit drug runners and drug mules. And I'm just, I just thought this was completely crazy. But, you know, here, let me read through the parts of the article that are, you know, important. And then we'll go into some discussion. What many don't realize is that real life cartel recruiters are playing the game. And when we're saying the game, we're talking about Grand Theft Auto 5 are playing the game and recruiting players from for real life work. Last year, Mexican police revealed youngsters were being recruited by drug cartels over popular video games, including Grand Theft Auto Online, though there was little in way of evidence. Then last year in November, Customs and Border Protection officials in Arizona were inspecting a Jeep Cherokee when they found nearly 60 kilos of methamphetamine. When they asked the driver... Alyssa Navarro, what her story was, she said that in January that year, she had been playing Grand Theft Auto Online when she met a man who called himself George, according to a search warrant unsealed late last week. After getting to know each other within the game, Navarro said they eventually started talking on Snapchat and later met in person in Phoenix. Uh, the suspect said that George asked her over Snapchat whether she'd like some work as a runner shipping electronics so they could be sold in Mexico, telling her she could be paid as much as $2,000 a trip depending on how big the load was, according to the government filing. Federal investigators obtained Snapchat messages from Navarro's phone in which George promises a lot of money and offered to the use of a truck believed to be the same Jeep in which she was apprehended. Sometimes drug cartels try to hide narcotics and electronics equipment when sh shifting them across the border. But per Navarro's narrative, as described in a criminal complaint against her, she was told to meet a contact in Mexico called Alfredo, who gave her the Jeep and said she should fill up the tank at certain gas stations along the way and take the vehicle to another unidentified individual. The methamphetamine was not hidden in the electronics, but in the fuel tank, CBP officers found. According to the complaint, when investigators asked if she didn't think the job offer was odd or too good to be true, she agreed it did seem strange, and when she was on the bus to Mexico, she even asked herself, what am I doing? But still went ahead and met her mysterious contact. Whatever the government thinks happened in the virus case is unclear. But she has been charged with conspiracy to import and sell methamphetamine as well as possession. Earlier this month, she pleaded not guilty. The Department of Justice had not responded to requests for comment. Now, before we continue there, 
Being that this individual was able to get on a bus and travel out of the country, that means this person, you know, has their own, you know, financial sense. They have a passport. It makes me think that this has got to be an adult. All right. Uh, clearly, this isn't a minor. This has to be an adult that they're able to travel between countries by themselves. Okay. This is an adult. They never, they never disclaimed what her age was, but this is an adult. They literally went in about how they, they even asked her why she, you know, basically like, hey, did this seem a little, a little suspicious? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. I'm like, how? How? I just, this, this, okay. So this just comes down to common freaking sense, people. Come on. If a stranger on the internet comes out and, and says, yo, you want to be a runner? Run the other direction, all right? Run the other direction. Don't go and travel to Mexico to, you know, sh drive electronics across the border because it's instantly suspicious. If they were a legitimate company, they would pay to have that stuff properly shipped like all the other, like, like businesses do, okay? They would have, you know, manifests and all that stuff and they would do it on the, on the level. They wouldn't hire some random stranger online to go and, you know, transport their goods unless there was something suspicious going on. So this just comes down to common freaking sense, which this person clearly lacked, as well as, you know, again, this comes down to, I, I can't blame the game for this because this is, like you know, common sense as well as accountability. This person is an adult. They should know better. They, you know, the, if anyone's trying to blame the game for this particular incident, I cannot blame the game because this is an adult. If it comes, when, when we go further in, they start talking about kids, that's different. But this is an adult. This is an adult. Come on. Accountability. This person should, should they should have known better and they shouldn't have done this. And yeah, now, now she's facing criminal charges for possession and 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 all that kind of stuff. So yeah, no, this got you know got to deal with those consequences. All right, so now let's just we'll just continue. We'll just continue. Okay. Last October, Mexican law enforcement in Oaxaca said three minors had been recruited over popular mobile battle royale game Free Fire. Now I personally have not heard of this game Free Fire, but then again, I don't really follow mobile gaming at all anyway. But so this is this so. Okay, so continue. The kids had been offered around $200 a week as cartel lookouts, according to media reports. Now, to a kid, $200 a week is a crap ton of money, so that's going to be super enticing to some kid. Definitely. Okay, so at the time, it was also reported individuals claiming to belong to various narcotics crews, including the, the, the Sinaloa, I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, forgive me, the Sinaloa cartel, were reaching out to children late at night on games including the online multiplayer version of Grand Theft Auto V. Computer games have proven increasingly popular for other kinds of grooming. The explosion in the popularity of online gaming has led to platforms like Minecraft, Xbox Live, or games like GTA Online, and Fortnite becoming spots where many children spend time with existing friends and make new ones. The anonymity of an online gaming handle has, however, attracted predators, and the Justice Department has prosecuted multiple men who tried to hide behind online personas to coerce minors. Now, this is not something that should be shocking, okay? We've been dealing with online predators for, you know, the last two decades. So I'm surprised that, you know, this, 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 this is definitely a problem. But at the same time, this also comes down to, again, this not only accountability, but this is more of a parenting issue, all right? The parents are supposed to, you know, be monitoring what their kids do online. Um, so if you're going to have your kids playing an online game, you best believe you should be monitoring that as well. You know, find out who they're talking to. Uh, and things like and things of that nature, because you know there are there, there's sexual predators online, and clearly now we found out that there's also you know 
criminal predators in terms of drug running people. You know, come on. So you, you got to watch your kids. Um, th this is a scary thing. Minecraft. Okay? They, they listed Minecraft. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who were commenting on this article when they, uh, IGN kind of reported on this article and threw it up on Twitter and everyone was going on about how, well, it's GTA, kids shouldn't be playing that game anyway. Agreed. GTA is not a mature rated game. No children are supposed to be playing it. It's the same as Call of Duty. It's a mature rated game. Children are not supposed to be playing it, but yet for some reason, parents keep letting their kids play mature rated games. That has nothing to do with this because they're targeting Minecraft. That is a child-rated game. Okay? So if they're targeting games that they know minors are playing for sure, you can't blame you you can't blame the, the game. You have to blame, you know, the parents not monitoring their children's online use. And I understand you can't monitor your kids 24-7. But I know a lot of people who will have their kids go and play their game in their room and then they won't, you know, and then that's it. They don't even go and check on them. So you got to monitor who they're talking to. And if you're going to have them play online and stuff, you know, either get make it to where they don't have access to where they can't uh, voice chat with people. Uh, there are parental controls and stuff for that. Uh, my husband has a friend who monitors his kids online use and they're not allowed to be in party chat with anyone. Uh, so, I mean, there's different steps that you can make. I'm not going to tell anybody how to raise their kids, but there are steps out there that you can take if you feel that your children are, you know, a little too open to talking to strangers online. So, well, definitely something needs to be done. And it, 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 it has to start at home. And then, of course, you know, the, there has to be some sort of safety parameters put in between the companies, you know, to help with to protect children, you know, more parental controls that, you know, give, give parents more options. And then, you know, of course, law enforcement, they have to do, you know, their part to try to catch these, you know, these, these predators, you know, so it's, it's, it's not just, you know, you can't just fix it in one area and then and the magic is going to go away. It's definitely not going to happen, but it definitely starts in the home with parents monitoring their online use that their kids are doing. And it's very common because my generation right now are the ones that have all these kids that are pretty much the ones that are being victim to this. My generation of gamer parents, they grew up in a time where they could just sit in their bedroom and play video games and their parents didn't have to watch them because the internet wasn't that big a thing yet. Okay, we had dial up. You, you could either, you know, you, you, you couldn't even use your, your telephone at the same time as surfing the web. Okay, this is something that kids today don't understand so parents today that are you know in my generation parents today should understand that you know they've been told this for over a decade about you know the the dangers of the internet so i'm still it still baffles me that so many kids are still being targeted and like where are the parents at that's all i have to say where are the parents at either have your kids play games that are offline and or monitor your kids the best that you can to have it to where if they are playing an online game, you know exactly who they're playing with. Okay? Um, either make it to where they're not allowed to be in voice chat at all. Or make sure that you check in periodically to see who they're talking to. You know, get in that voice chat. Who are they talking to? And then that's, and that's, that's, there's not more than much more I can say on that. But no, this is, this is definitely a serious thing. And... You can't really blame the games because these games weren't designed for that. You know, like people want to blame, well, GTA Online, you know, GTA Online and, and Grand, you know, GTA, you know, the regular campaign. You know, these are very adult themed games and they are. Kids definitely shouldn't be playing those. I agree to that nature. But that argument holds zero weight when the same people are targeting Fortnite and Minecraft, which are games made for children. So your whole argument falls through when it doesn't only apply to that game. So yeah, we, we just gotta, we gotta be more careful. Like this is scary. Like so many kids play Minecraft. It's, it's a huge game, just like in Roblox. They didn't list Roblox on here, but if it's happening in Minecraft, it's probably happening in Roblox too. It just hasn't been reported on yet. So I mean, come on, we have to be more careful. It should be a huge concern to parents today. 
And any parent today who's laughing at this, like this is no big deal, wake the F up, okay? Your kids could potentially be doing this right now and you're just laughing and be like, nah, my kid would never. They're kids. They're stupid. You best believe they'll do it. I don't care if they're a straight A student. You best believe they're still going to do stupid things. They're kids. All right? So, no. Don't be overconfident. Keep a watchful eye on them. All right? You got to keep a watchful eye. Uh, I, I don't really know what else I can really go into on this other than repeating myself a hundred times over. But this is just insane. I, this is insane to me. I, I can't believe this. All right. So this is definitely a different way of looking at gaming compared to before where they're like, oh, you know, video games lead to, you know, school shootings, which I think is utter BS. But this, this is different. This is literally people grooming your children and adults, like, come on, the, the adults, that one, that one, I, I, I don't really have any sympathy for the adult because they're old enough to know better, but, like, children don't understand, okay, and teenagers think they know everything, and they make the most mistakes out of anyone, so we gotta keep an eye on them, okay, we gotta keep an eye on them, yeah, this is some scary stuff, That that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today was just kind of going over this, because kind of shine some light on it, because I know most people, when we are looking at the articles, it's just a lot of people bashing about how this isn't shocking. It's GTA. It's GTA. Well, this is more than just GTA. Okay, it's Minecraft. It's Fortnite. Okay, this is if if we don't get a handle on this now, it's just gonna get worse. Okay, it's just it's just gonna keep getting worse, and it's gonna be in no no game is gonna be safe for kids if we don't get a handle on it. So stop trying to just shrug it off like it's no big deal. By the time you stop shrugging off like it's no big deal is when it's too freaking late and it's gone too far. And then what? You got to be on it. But yeah, uh, I would love to hear your feedback on what you think uh, about this topic. Uh, and so yeah, go ahead and leave some comments down below if you're watching on YouTube. Otherwise, if you're listening to this audio only, you can go on my social media and check me out on Twitter. Leave some comments. Or, you know, jump over to YouTube. Uh, I love to hear from you all. So I want to thank you all so much. This is a short one. But I just really needed to, you know, pull this up. Because this is insane. Minecraft. <laughs> Alright. But thank you guys. And I hope to see you all real again real soon. This has been another exciting episode of Just a Glimpse. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends and family. See you all next time, and don't forget to check out my social media. Links in the information section.